Meet Scooby Stevens, a workout warrior. This dog has an almost non-stop motor, a perfect trait for a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Dogs bred in Africa to hunt lions. He certainly looks the part, although he doesn't have a ridge. But people ask all the time, is he a Ridgeback? Time and again I answer, he sure is, maybe mixed with something else. You know Ridgebacks hunt lions? He's a good dog, and like any good Ridgeback, even those without a ridge, he needs his exercise, so we in the Stevens household do our part to sap his energy. We let his best buddy Cadbury help. Cadbury is Noreen's dog. We tested him, too. I'm just kind of curious. You know, I'd just like to know what's in him. Dr. Cassandra Campbell at Peaksview Animal Hospital says there could be great value in knowing your dog's breeds. We may have a heads up to some of the medical conditions that could be happening or anticipate them. Case in point, this Dalmatian, Sherman. He has beautiful blue eyes, and he's deaf. Why? It's in his genes. The Dalmatians have a genetic deafness associated with blue eyes. Knowing your dog's breeds means knowing your dog's genes and any health and behavioral issues. We also did a purebred test on Dr. Campbell's dog, Maverick, believed to be a purebred boxer, using the Wisdom Panel test kit from the Mars Company. This is not easy. Oh, you're such a good boy. A few weeks later, Dr. Angela Hughes gave me the results for all the dogs through Skype. First up, Maverick. No surprises here. He is full-on boxer and a friendly one at that. Now, Noreen's dog, Cadbury. The Humane Society said that he was a shepherd collie mix. But uh, most people, when they look at him, the first thing that they ask is, does he have golden in him? The results, about what we expected. Golden retriever, chow, and some German shepherd. Several of these breeds do have orthopedic issues, so that would be what I would pay attention to most in him. The advice? Keep him thin, so there's less wear and tear on his joints. Finally, Scooby's results, and this should be easy, he's bound to be about 90% Rhodesian Ridgeback. The uh, Bulldog and the Chihuahua were the two that came out strongest in him. What? And the Chihuahua's coming up very consistently. A Chihuahua? What? What the hell's going on out here? Can't be. From the start, I've told Scooby he's a Ridgeback, without a ridge, descendant from proud animals that roamed the plains of southern Africa, fearless enough to take on the king of the jungle. He's never been fitted for a sweater. He does not dance the flamenco, and he's never once said, Yo quiero Taco Bell. Something has to be wrong. Well, Hughes says my reaction is actually fairly typical, that all the time people think they know their dog's breeds. A lot of people have that, that perception, and they get set on that one, one breed. Only to have their minds blown. She says dogs' traits, ear and tail shape, coloring, hair length, can come from a variety of breeds. For instance, she says both bulldogs and chihuahuas carry the yellow gene, which my Scooby has. And yellow is recessive. He needs two copies of that yellow gene to come together. Plus, my Scoob shows up as at least 42% other breeds, sheepdogs and spaniels mostly, and the test indicates there could be still other breeds in Scoob's more distant past. He's got a lot of different breed groups coming together. One positive, more breeds in the mix very generally means a healthier dog. It's called hybrid vigor. In terms of diseases, I think he's, uh, he's going to reap the benefits of being a Heinz 57.